Dark rain clouds hung over a seven-acre field of crop and greenhouses, located in an area in Bo where Korean peacekeepers in South Sudan have turned fallow land into a productive farm. A handful of youth are busy on the farm. They are not irregular farmers or farmhands, but are agriculture students on a 12-week farming course at the Korean Vocational Training Center, which has brought together youth from diverse communities in Bo. The field is a training ground, and it's benefiting South Sudanese in the area. A fast-growing species of maize crop, which has been growing for the last two months, is in its flowering stage, and some students are weeding the crop. It is something good because the knowledge that we have required here, we are going to do it there in the community. Because when we, are, when we will be delivered here, we are going to open up our palms, we dig and we cultivate our crops. Therefore, if we sold those crops, we are going to earn money. And that is the self-employment. The students are being trained on growing a variety of crops like corn, celery, cucumber, among several local and foreign produce. South Sudan's conflict has not allowed the country's agricultural sector to flourish, to allow for much needed domestic food supply, resulting to South Sudanese being dependent on food aid from several humanitarian agencies year after year. Wherever there is an insecurity, it is difficult to offer enough agriculture plantation. So if there could be a peace, therefore we are going to do what we can do best for ourselves. Other students are harvesting cucumbers, which have been growing over a period of almost three months. This is their third cucumber harvest, waiting to be sold off. <laughs> Was a garden yanja. Near Maza is a man of garden fibulet. As El Kurina Mulena Ajaquez, he saw Sudan as a mind of development. Lemanase are Mulen training, giant fee farmers, Kulen Zede, Namu development is South Sudan, the chance of Sudan, the Kunpo. Kulen a year old, him she Yamulizara Betau, Fibulet Betau, the county Betau, the Fayam Betau, San Juno, the during Betal Betal Bellet, Yamul development. From irrigation to setting up greenhouses on the farm, these students from across South Sudan are learning that agriculture is possible through different efforts. Conflict uh, only brought uh, poverty, but agriculture can bring uh, uh, welfare of the people. Working together as a community in true agriculture can eradicate uh, conflicts and hunger at the same time. Korean peacekeepers who have been deployed to Jongle as road engineers say the farm was created to help local residents to move beyond simple temporary food assistance in order to teach agricultural technology in a country that is suffering from poverty and outdated agricultural methods. And for a country in conflict, that annually experiences an average of seven months of rain and a dire lack of food, realizing the dreams of these farming students may just be what the country needs to turn its tide of food insecurity. <laughs>